G'day! In today's video, I'll be looking at a few different games all running on the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 with the Ryzen 5 4500U, the Vega 6 graphics, and 16GB of RAM running off a 500GB NVMe drive. The games getting tested in this video are Counter-Strike Global Offensive, GTA 5, Doom 2016, Goat of Duty, and The Sims 4. A couple of them are getting tested at different resolutions, and I'll explain it when I get to it. So in this first test, I'm running Counter-Strike Global Offensive at 1080 resolution, with most settings, or a few settings, set to low, or change them up to medium. Uh, effect details, shadow details set at high, everything else left pretty much stock from when it was installed. The level that I'm playing on is Mirage, and frame rate on this was relatively stable. Usually getting as low as about 30 FPS, as high as about 90, but this would be fairly playable, even with particle effects like explosions and smoke. The biggest thing that I found that tore down the gameplay on this one would be fire. Fire seems to absolutely destroy frame rate, which I'll show that a little bit later in a next video. Also it's worth noting that I am playing with bots, so that will usually drop the FPS a little bit. So playing multiplayer I'll typically expect it to be a little bit higher. So now I've turned up most settings here. So this is high textures, high global shadows, pretty much most things on high. I'll just get into the game now. So as you can see, it seems to be settling a little bit lower the frame rate. Around, I'd say probably about 10 FPS lower than where it was with most stuff on medium. But as I said earlier, the biggest thing that seems to affect it is fire, which I do throw a few fire grenades soon, or at least in the next round. As you can see, the bots are currently on idiot level, so they are quite useless. So if fire seems to dip it by about 20, up to about 20 FPS when you're in fire or near fire. And onwards now to GTA 5. Where in this first test, or at least on the left hand side, you'll be seeing GTA 5 with textures on normal at 1080 resolution. And then I'm using the same configuration on the right hand side running at 720p. So as you can see this game seems to run almost about 25% better running at 720p as opposed to 1080 which on the smaller screen is probably really not going to affect too much. At least with a higher frame rate it will give you a smoother overall game. Now from here I'm just going to quickly jump back to Doom 2016, which in itself didn't overly play too well at all. Pretty much everything had to be dumped down to low or turn the setting off or the feature off, and it would really only be playable at 720. 
trying it at 1080 is definitely not recommended as you'll soon see so the gameplay typically bounces anywhere from around about 30 fps up to 50 to 60 if you're lucky I was curious to see whether or not explosions make too much of a difference which they made a small difference but considerably less than I was usually expecting with most particle effects so from here I'm just going to do virtually the same run that I just did at 1080 resolution as we can see we're already starting off at around 30 fps in a quiet area and yeah, not not pretty not smooth would definitely recommend against playing it at 1080 I'm curious to see what doom external uh, internal would be like i feel like it would be a bit worse than what this is I haven't played it so i can't really comment on that but I would assume it would be slightly more demanding. Now this one's a little bit of an oddball. It came out as a free, a free game, which me and my mate started playing a little bit of. And strangely, I'm pretty sure it runs on Unreal Engine 4, which was the smallest download of Unreal Engine games that I've seen. This one was around about a four gig download but this one definitely does seem to require a bit more VRAM to be able to run smoothly. The levels themselves seem to have a bit of a haze to them, or the textures did anyway, so they weren't ultra crisp. If I tried to turn it up, the FPS would drop and it would become unplayable. So, the averaging usually over 30 FPS, which if you're just going to jump on to have a quick match with mates, might be worthwhile. Otherwise, it's just something different just to test out. And lastly, up to The Sims. So this first test here is just running at 1080 resolution on medium everything. And the game itself moved around relatively smoothly. Granted, I don't really have any idea how to play The Sims, never played it before. But just generally moving around the level, doing most of the intera interactions. It usually stuck over 30 FPS usually hanging around about 50 but in some areas when you zoomed out they did get a bit of a frame drop and now I'll turn it up to ultra also running at 1080 and we'll see how that runs which it's Depending on your level that, or the smoothness that you require for a game, you could potentially get away with playing it on Ultra, but I find that it's probably not quite as smooth as you'd want it to be, but being it is a slower paced game, you could probably tolerate it. So as you can see, we're mostly hanging around about 30 FPS in this particular spot. But most of all, it will come down to your judgement and what you'd prefer your game to be like. So from here, I'm just going to let this video footage play out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.